One display that I really like using is these 1.69 inch SPI um, TFT displays. I found a touchscreen version of it, which is this one here. Um, it's much thicker than the non-touch version. It has a rounded edge all around it. Um, this one uses a solder down connector and the touchscreen version unfortunately has one of these connectors that you have to use. Many of the boards that use one of these uh, slide switches, which is the big one here, or this little small one for bare boards, I find they are not as rugged as a push button. So I'm trying out uh, this part here. Yeah. It's an Linear Tech LTC 2954. It's that little part there with the bodge resistor on there. Um, instead of a slide switch, it uses a mechanical push button. Um, can use it in two ways. The uh, no microprocessor version or the microprocessor version. And the way it works is this push button here is replacing the slide switch and the critical part is this capacitor here. Um, instead of one microfarad, I have mine at 0.1 and that needs a 1.5 second press down for turn off and on. And your LDO shutdown, which is normally tied to VN on all the time, is now connected to this enable pin. So I have it here. So you hold it down and then that little Power supply comes, LDO turns on or off. For this dev board, I have the uh, kill net connected to the processor. So you can use the board just by turning the button off and on. And you can, right now I have the uh, slide switch connected to a GPIO connected to the kill net. So when I slide it back, it will turn itself off. So you could expand on this, maybe have an accelerometer after uh, one minute of no motion, it could toggle that kill switch. So the device would turn itself off after a certain amount of time. I thought that was a pretty neat part. Um, that's all for now. Thanks. Bye.